disease is the result of germ, virus, or bacteria. Am I right? Who said that? The Caucasian again. But how do you know that's true? Have we done any research independent to that of the European? He done his research. Fine. The Japanese did his. Good. But what about my mama? My mama needs representation too, isn't it? <laughs> I want to hear what my mama have to say. When my mama said that there's no such thing as a germ or virus or a bacteria. What did you say, Dr. Savi? This is in court. This is the Supreme Court of the United States. The judge said, what did you say? I said, there is no such thing as a germ, a virus, or a bacteria. Then what is it? I said, man, it is a microbe that is generated in the body when erosion begins. To see, explain that. I said, very simple. If I take a very healthy human being and lay them on the stable and not move them for a month, when I raise them, what are they going to have on their back? A benzo. And inside that benzo would be some little worms, isn't it? Sure. But where did the worms come from and where, where were they birth? In the man himself. Ah, but why the, but why the benzo? You didn't move that person. That part of him was lacking of oxygen. You never see benzo on the top of the person. You see them on the bottom. The deprivation of oxygen causes all disease. The big mystery. You see how quick you learn that? Every disease that is manifested is caused by the deprivation of oxygen. You have it with a very healthy man. Lay him down and not move him. You will get a benzo. I said, are you honor? If I take a potato, place it inside of an oxygen-free vesicle, a vessel, 14 days later, you begin to see it break down. And then you see little worms coming out of the potato. Where did the worms come from? From across the street that invaded your potato? <laughs> or from inside the potato? From inside the potato. So when they talk about this virus, you think that it was something that you inhaled <laughs> in the air. No, because we were misled. The information that we all have had is sitting in our heads. 